Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And Kellyanne Conway. Fucking <laughs> bitch. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. We are going to be tooting and booting the looks from the red carpet of the 2017 Golden Globes. Ooh. I love a red carpet. I actually don't even watch the awards. Do you? Did you even watch the Golden Globes? I didn't watch, watch it at all. No, it's, I definitely saw Meryl Streep's acceptance speech going around, which bravo, Miss Streep. Yes, thank you, Miss Meryl Streep, for speaking your mind, darling. Now let's start speaking our mind about some fucking outfits, shall we? And don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Photo Review on WOW Presents. And stay tuned to see who our fan submission is of the week. I can't wait. Our first celebrity on the chopping block, ladies and gentlemen, we have, who the fuck is this? That's Anna Kendrick. Oh. She's the voice of Poppy from Trolls. Mm. Did you see it? I haven't, Me no, too. I've seen adorable. a few Trolls. Mm. Uh, Stephen Seven, RuPaul's Drag Race. <gasps> no! I'm kidding! But I do know who she is and I like this dress. But, I do too. Yeah, I like the color, I like gray. The only problem that I have with this dress is the titties. Yeah, that titties are funny, like they flapjacked. Like, I feel like there should have been more tit up here, like it could have been pushed up from beneath. It looks like a queen. A queen with no breast in a dress, just trying to fill it out, right? And the way that the line goes straight across, the, if you look at it, it just looks like a little cup of coffee right there. She's and just like, a little, just like a little water balloon, like a deflated yeah. water balloon. And the other side, the, the strap that's going across looks like it might be holding up the other titty. Like it's just not really good on the titties. And a dress should be kind of good on the titties. It should always be good on the titties. You know, if it don't look good on the titties, then just take the titties off. Exactly. That's what I usually do. I like the color and I love a dress that has a lot of drape. I love the pleating on it, but the titty look funny. So I'm gonna boot it. Damn. Yeah. I it's a boot. It's, it's, a boot. Pre it's a pretty color. I like the, uh, the color under. I like, Actually, her styling is very, very, mm. very beautiful. But yeah, it's a boot. All right, next we have, who is that? That is Annette Benning and Warren Beatty. Oh. Still together after all wow. these years. Well, let's start with Warren Beatty. He's in a tux, it fits well. He still looks handsome as fuck. Two. Two. I mean, you know what the tux is? It's like, how do you really boot a tux? And Annette Benning, she looks fucking exquisite. Yeah. She looks. Classy. Classy. Expensive. Classy. Yeah. She looked like she got money. She looked like she smelled good. And she probably like, got a Brazilian before this. Mm -hmm. She looked like she works out. Like this is a woman who clearly takes great, great care of herself. And that dress is gorgeous. It's just that perfect sort of soft peach tone that I love so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I give her a toot. I love Annette Bunning. She looks gorgeous. Toots for both. Toots. Power couple. Next we have Blake Lively. I love this. I Fucking love it. If you are a drag queen, then you probably will like a little trumpet skirt at the bottom with a train. Yeah. I love the gold accents around the top here, the little fun pockets, which I think is a really, really mm. fun feature. I always like a skirt or something where you can just kind of, you know, put, put your, your pockets in. Yeah, because when you pop your pockets in, then your shoulders kind of pop up too, and you have a certain stance about it. I love that huge emerald jewel on her mm. wrist. Velvet is a hard fabric to wear sometimes because it can add weight, because there's a weightiness to yes. it. But like, I think she looks fantastic. And it fucking grabs everything. Yeah, like she could have been picking up all the fucking lint. By the end of the Golden Globe, she probably looked like an old belly button. Two. Two. I give it a two. Yes, Blake Lively. We, li we, we lively for you. And next we have Claire Foy. Um, now this bitch is from The Crown, correct? Mm-hmm, okay. she plays the queen in The Crown. Ooh. Yas, queen. Yas, queen! I think she looks pretty. Okay, I know that the whole thing now is to kind of like do red carpets and look like you kind of like didn't give a fuck. This looks like she rolled out of bed. Someone said, here, here's a dress, go. Yeah. It just doesn't fit very well and I don't know, I don't care for the styling either. I, mm, I'm, we, it's weird because I, I like the colors, I like the fabric and I think her hair is cute, but mm -hmm. for this, no. Sequin is a big, big sequins? thing. We're seeing so many sequins now, and I love this trend, although you're right. This dress feels a little bit like slouchy on her, just kind of like baggy. I'm gonna go ahead and boot. Boot. It's boot. Agreed. 
Sorry, girl. But congratulations on winning. Oh, word. She won the Golden Globe, so good for you. Amazing. Next, we have one of my personal favorites, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Drew Barrymore, everybody. Drew Barrymore is a friend of the community, darling. She is fierce and she looks amazing in this dress. I got to see this dress in different angles and I love it. There's something that kind of reminds me, it's very like ethereal and sort of witchy and it's got this really cool pleating and ribbing along the sides. It just looks really feminine and soft. I like it. I like that it's not completely form fitting to her body but it just fits her really nicely and it looks beautiful and I like the way the patterning is and I just fucking love it. It's I'm gonna so give it a two. It's so 70s, it's so, mm -hmm. just, I mean. I Cult, like a 70s cult. Yeah. She always looks effortless, but you can tell there was work done. Mm-hmm. She's just becoming more and more beautiful as she's aging and becoming yes. older, like just gorgeous. I it love still has a baby one. face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like me. Sure. Two. Two. Next we have Emma Stone. Yes, another winner. She Woo! won. That's she right. won some shit, didn't she? Emma Stone looks stunning. I love this dress. I love how sexy it is. And it stars as a motif has always been one of my favorite things. And the dress is completely like bedazzled. And I love it. I love the color of, of the dress. I love how simple it is in shape, but the stars really add such a pretty, pretty embellishment to it and make it really feminine and exciting. And so I mean, I'm guessing you this gets a boot? This is a toot for me. <laughs> this is a toot. I love this I don't know, leather. I'm kind of on the fence. I do think it's pretty. I don't mm -hmm. know, I wish there was something different with the hair or maybe no necklace. I don't know, there's something weird about it. I'll, 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 I'll toot it, I'll give it a two. All right, next we have Evan Rachel Wood. Girl. Yes. She giving you wood? I adore she looks handsome. this look. Like this could easily be my favorite look out of the whole thing. And my favorite thing about it is the shirt, that big sort of like. Yeah. That kind of feminizes it a mm -hmm. little bit. She just looks super sexy and dandy, and I like the playing with menswear, if you will, mm -hmm. and kind of switching, and I think she looks great. I feel like she looks like she is at the Golden Globes. That's a cute way to do the hair with this. I completely agree. Mm-hmm, two. I give it a boot. Just kidding, two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Two. She's funny. Next we have Gal Gadot, everybody, and she's from, I, I believe she's from Israel, is that right? She's an Israeli star. And she is preggers in this picture. There. She looks great. Yeah, I think she looks sexy. Her body looks wonderful. Again, sequins is a theme, mm -hmm. but I don't really love this because you know what this looks like? It looks like that one where you like, is it blue or is it red? Oh, yeah, yeah, is yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. White? Is it like it's just kind of like it's not really exciting sequin to me. It's just okay. I think you can find yards and yards of that in downtown for about eight dollars a yard. I personally would have liked this because of the way her hair is pulled back mm -hmm. with a nice drop earring mm -hmm. than a necklace. Mm. I think she I looks really beautiful. She looks beautiful, but I don't really care for the dress. I, I think she could have dragged it out a little bit more. Yeah, the jewels could have been, I don't know. I just, it's it's okay for me. It's just like not exciting. It's a boot. So, yeah, I'm like, okay, where do we, where do we go with this? No, boot. not, yeah. Apparently she went not, to the Golden She went to the Golden Globes. Globes. All right, now we're talking about some drag here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Let's bring on the drag. We've got Janelle Monet. I love this look. Like, I could see any one of us totally it's, trying to rock this look. In fact, I'm gonna see a lot of queens doing this. I love this. Her pedicure is gorgeous. Her toes look clean. The jewels on her shoes look bright. Her legs look smooth. And that volume around her waist with all the polka dots is giving me life! And I love the cut of the top. Yeah. I just don't like the hair. You don't? No. Do you it's about? too like, oh, look at me. I'm I'm Cinderella. I'm going to the ball. It's too like, I don't like it. Okay. But I give it a two because yeah. I really love that dress. Yes, me too. Poke but I just don't care for the hair. Okay. But it's a, it's a two. Next we have Jessica Biel, wife of Justin Timberlake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mother of his child. Mama of his babies. I don't like this. Dress. I hate this. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, this. This looks like a last minute costume that we would come up with if we just got a phone call like, girl, you gotta do the show tonight. Like, And you're and everything's dirty, yeah. or you've burnt everything, or you lost everything. It, is it looks like a piece of fabric that you wrap around your waist, stick it under a skirt, belt it, and go. I, I mean, she could have contoured a little Some that, something. Yeah. Some parentheses. She needed to paint it, in the parentheses. Yes. I think what her stylist was trying to do was trying to make her a little bit edgier, but it honestly looks like a piece of tablecloth and 
with silk flowers, potted silk flowers that are just yeah. kind of hot glued and it looks cheap and she really isn't edgy enough to carry off something like this, in my opinion. I hate oh. it, I fucking hate this dress and I'm gonna say it's a boo. It's a boo. Every, every uh, no. No. None of it. No. Boo. Bye. Boo. Next. All right, next we have Kerry Washington. Boo. Boot, Carrie. Okay, Laverne Quex. Oh, you know what? I love Laverne's hair and makeup. She looks beautiful. Okay, if that's the first thing you go to, mm -hmm. you don't like the dress. It's, just, it's taking me a second. No, I do like it. I do like it. It's not bootable. It's just not, it's just kind of meh to me. Okay, see how you were talking earlier about the nude uh, dresses with all of the appliques or red? This is how I feel about two slits up the front of a dress. It kind of gives me, what was that store called in the mall? Charlotte Ruth? No, 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 worse. Um, old, Wet Seal. No, no, no. Uh, um, Cacique? Cacique! It gives me so much cacique, girl. <laughs> That's exactly it. It's so cacique and it kind of, like those cutouts on the front, it's just, it. it's not, it needs something. It needs some sparkle and I know that she's trying to go for just like sexy, understated and black. But honestly, Miss Laverne Cox, this is not working for me. This dress is just meh. And I'm gonna give it a boot. Sorry, don't get mad. Next we have the goddess herself, the Gemini fierceness, Miss Naomi Campbell. Two. I'm going to toot this. I love it. But there's a part of me that thinks that she looks like she just got attacked by some of those like blinds. You know, the ones that they have in apartment complexes that you open with a little ball. You know what, I can see that, but I still love it. Me too. I don't I really care. like it. I, just I don't said. really care for the shoe. Yeah, the shoe don't work. But I love all of the, everything that's going on on the bodice. Mm -hmm. But you're right, the skirt does, it looks a little car wash, it looks a little vertical blinds. Mm -hmm. But I think it's compared to what Kerry Washington had on. Two. Girl, two, yes. And this is Naomi Campbell, she can wear whatever the fuck she wants. Really. She'll throw a fucking goddamn phone at you. Next we have A bitch Natalie that just escaped Portman. from Scientology. She's pregnant. Oh. Okay. Well, I, I, well, I mean, you look great. There's a part of me that thinks that whoever styled her was really kind of leaning towards this whole Jackie O theme with her to kind of do the 60s three quarter length sleeve, that sort of like, you know, goldenrod yellow, which was very popular around that time. And then also the squareness, which kind of get, makes me feel like it's a little bit more in the, like a 1960s Balenciaga. Well, and even the hair. Yeah. I don't care for it. It looks like a fucking blanket. You look like a blanket. I am a blanket. Mm -hmm. You know, she's won a war, blah, blah, blah. But I just don't care for it. We saw another pregnant bitch that had a fucking gown on. Mm -hmm. But we did boot that too. So, mm, boot. I toot it. I love it. I love the color. I love the, the boxiness of the shape. I'm weird. But she didn't have to tuck in this dress either. That's maybe what I like about it. Next we have Nicole Kidman, ladies and gentlemen. Nicole Kidman, a legend, a star. I hate this dress. I don't like it either. Oh my God, what kind of saloon is she going to? I think trip? if she lost the sleeves, Mm, that's what it is, that's what it is, the sleeves. Yeah, I like the dress itself, like I, I can see myself wearing it running through a field. Okay, but, but do you, boot or toot yourself in that dream in this dress. Boot. Next we have Olivia Culpo. Is it her? Yeah. Miss Universe? Yeah. Oh, this is my friend Olivia Culpo. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a long time, but Olivia looks fantastic. I think she looks really beautiful in this. And there's, it's just kind of like one of those unexpected sort of dresses, yeah. you know? Like you could, you're gonna definitely see girls with the with the trumpet, mm -hmm. the bell at the bottom yeah. and so on. But this shape is totally different and I really, really love the print on it. I love the styling of this. Mm -hmm. I love her hair, I love her jewelry, I love her clutch, I love everything about this. She looks stunning. There's something that gives me a little bit of Frida Kahlo in it. And I see that too. Yeah, it's that floral, the bright colors, and then the full skirt at the bottom. I love this. I'm gonna give this a fucking two. Work, Miss Olivia Coolidge. Two. Two. All right, next we have SJP, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yes, no. Mm -hmm. Boo. Boo. The hair, the sleeves. That dress would be cute without them sleeves. Mm -hmm. What's up with the bitches wearing the sleeves? I don't know, trend alert. I can kind of picture this dress in a different color, like even with the sleeves. Like I could picture, picture it in like a crimson or a cardinal red or a, yeah. a 
are an actual color, but the fact that it's just sort of white gives me like bed sheet and two pillowcases to take safety pin to the sides. Ooh, sorry SGP. And next we have Sarah Paulson. Love her. I do too. She's brilliant. And she won, I think, right? Yes. But this dress don't win for me. I don't like it either. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, sequin is such the trend. Like everyone keeps bringing up all the sequins, but. I don't yeah. like the fit and I think the sequin, the way it's on that fabric looks cheap. Mm -hmm. It looks like that shit you get for 50 cents a yard. I think her hair looks great. That's what I was gonna say. I think her hair looks really pretty and her makeup looks lovely, but the dress is just kind of boring. I wish there was a little bit more. I mean, I'm not saying that a good dress is one that shows skin, don't get me wrong, but I think a little skin would have been nice to see on her. Or if she wanted to be completely covered up, it should have been a different type of dress. I'm just not really into this. I think it looks, it just kind of looks dowdy and matronly. Yes, and from the waist, it just goes. Yeah. And not even in a. Yeah. Yeah, boo. boo. Yeah, Sofia Vergara. Sofia Vergara. She puts the verga in Vergara, honey. Mm, she is yeah. sexy. Look at that. I love this dress because I love drag. This is a queen's fucking gown. Her boobies look bouncy and beautiful and her skin looks glowing. Her she, teeth. Her teeth are pretty. The dress is gorgeous. She's got now, sleeves. And, and the sleeve. Oh, that is a thing, isn't it? I mean, as much as I love this dress though, I just gotta say, I'm kind of tired of these dresses. Like nude with a bunch of shit on it. Mm. You know, everybody's doing it though. For I the know, last few years, that's all you see is like I just, a nude. I think it's so beautiful and it can be so beautifully done. This is beautifully done. Mm -hmm. I have seen it where it's been like, girl. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I hate this dress. I'm just kind of like, ah. Oh. That's a Beyonce dress, that's a J-Lo dress, that's a Sofia Vergara dress. It's very, very typical, sexy, sheer, with a bunch of shit on it. I'm gonna toot it, I love it, I think she looks fantastic, but I'm just kinda over that look a little bit. Okay, so I give it a two as well. Yeah. All right, next we have Winona Ryder. I mean, I love Winona Ryder, I've loved her my whole life, but this dress is a problem for me. <sighs> It's a little David Bridal. It's a it's little David Bridal. Swallowing Raven her. <laughs> <laughs> it's David Petrucian's bridal. <laughs> I don't like this at all. The entire look. She even looks like uncomfortable. God. She looks like she wants out. Like mm. I need to go. Did she steal this dress? It doesn't fit her right. It's just kind of bit. It's just a baggy black dress. I would like to see her really edge it up. Maybe throw a motorcycle jacket on. That's how I feel about everything. Like just throw a motorcycle jacket on. That dress is giving me all the yawns. It's gross. I mean, even her hair. Girl. All I have to say is free Winona from this ugly fucking dress. I give it a boot. Boot. You know, in my lifetime, I've seen some really, really crazy things. Yeah, I've seen Stranger Things. But I'm fun fun. Trend alert! Sleeves. Sleeves. That's sleeve. it. Sleeve of wizard. Really Shouldn't have those sleeves. Fucking ugly sleeve. Take them off. Get rid of the sleeves. Go sleeveless. Don't try to stupid. Sleeve me alone. <laughs> sleeve them alone. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Our top two of the week is Evan Rachel Wood. Evan Rachel Wood. Yes! Evan Rachel Wood. <laughs> Giving us tuxedo, penguin realness, Fred Astaire. She's giving for us the stairs? masculine feminine. Yeah, she's yes, mixing it all. She yes, does it all. all. We love it. We love it. We look so handsome. Next, boys and girls, we've got our fan submission. And this one comes from at Sweebolt. I don't know if that's the person's name. Underscore, don't forget that. Underscore. underscore. And this bitch has decided to come in some Naomi Smalls cosplay. Naomi Smalls from the Wizards of Drag episode from RuPaul's Drag Race season eight. I'm gonna say this bitch mopped it. She fucking mopped the look. It is not perfect. No. Uh, if you saw this bitch and you're a fan of the show, you would say, oh, I know what that is. Naomi Smalls. That's Naomi Smalls. Yes. Although I think the wig could have been different though. I think she could have definitely worn a little yeah. bit more of a cropped one. I think she mopped it and I give this bitch a two. Sweebolt, underscore. underscore. We see you, we love you, and we appreciate your submission. Thank you so much, we think you look so cute. Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents! Woo!